All right, so let's talk about conversion when it actually matters. We're talking about the moment that a home buyer stops being a lead for you and starts being a client. Because at this point, you've done just about everything you needed to do. You've given yourself an opportunity to work with that home buyer. So now it's time to bring it home. So in this video, I'm gonna share some tips that are gonna help you close more leads during your buyer presentations. Hey, it's Jaime with JaimeResendis.com, where we have one of the fastest growing and largest real estate agent communities worldwide. All right, so let's get into it. Let's talk about how to be more successful during our buyer presentations. First things first, prepare. You absolutely need to prepare in order to speak with the home buyer, especially in this very competitive market. Because now more than ever, home buyers not only need to trust you, they need to have faith in you that you're going to be able to deliver results. When you go into the buyer's presentation, know what points you're going to drive home and also be prepared for the basic questions. What's the real estate market like? How are we going to get our offers accepted? Why should we work with you above anybody else? Just be prepared for that follow-up question that's going to come. Number two, be confident. Regardless if you're brand new in the industry or super experienced, walk into that appointment and bring some assurance to that home buyer that is wanting to get into a home. Again, in this very competitive market, they need reassurance that they're working with the right person. Now, I'm not saying be arrogant because that's going to put people off. What I am saying is be authentic, be you, but be prepared. It's in that preparation that's going to bring a level of confidence in you when you're stepping into the ring. Number three, be upfront. Don't hide information or obfuscate information simply to get a home buyer to sign your buyer representation agreement. Just be honest and really communicate the upcoming challenges that you and them are going to have in this competitive market. It's a seller's market after all, so they are competing against a ton of other offers in most markets. So be upfront with that. The more upfront you are and the more assertive that you are, the higher likelihood that you are going to succeed the higher likelihood that the home buyer is going to end up in a home. You as a real estate professional get to guide this home buyer or home buyers along the way. So be the guide, be somebody that advises in a professional manner on how to actually buy real estate. So as an example, a way to set the tone, especially with home buyers, is informing them that they need to be pre-approved, letting them know that chances are they're going to need to offer above asking. And then three, there might be a delta between between what they're approved for and what the appraisal came back at. So they would need to be prepared to pay out of pocket. And I know that can be uncomfortable because we could potentially be losing out on that client because we know that we are being vetted. We know that there's another real estate agent that will tell them yes to everything. But we don't want to be that agent because we would all much rather have that conversation now than have that conversation 30 homes down the road when we're getting ready to put in an offer and have a very testy conversation because they're not willing to do what it takes to actually buy in this market. Number four, connect then educate. This is the hardest one that I had to learn. This is one that took me the longest because for the longest time, I just wanted to data dump. I just wanted to educate. I just wanted to show my expertise. I went as far as knowing every single paragraph in the real estate contract for Texas. And while that was impressive, that was cool. They really didn't care that much. Now, of course, that does feed into our level of preparation. That is something that we absolutely must do. However, first, we need to connect. We need to establish rapport. Because if you go into buyer presentation only the data dump, or worse yet, to bark out orders, that presentation is going to end badly. You're a real estate professional. You're not their boss. Number five, commit and actually deliver. Making commitments in your presentation shows a level of involvement, a level of engagement that you are willing to commit to them. And the most important part though is actually delivering. If you promise and commit to send them homes the following day, then do it. If you promise and commit to send them an amendment or an attachment or whatever it is that was pending, follow up and do it. If you promise to follow up on a question that you didn't know, then do it. One of the best ways to ensure a terrible client experience is by over promising and under delivering. Now I would be remiss if I didn't bring up this video sponsor and this video is sponsored by the subscribe button. So make sure to go down there and smash it.